Hi. And welcome to our educational video series. The intent of this video, is to discuss briefly the physics involved in medical ultrasound, and how a sound wave is generated, then describe the functions of the various system controls and knobs of the Olympus endobronchial ultrasound unit, and the impact they have on the image quality. The endobronchial ultrasound has become the best modality for the evaluation of the hilar and mediastinal structures. Although there are more than one endobronchial ultrasound manufacturers, we will exclusively focus on the Olympus endobronchial ultrasound and the EUME2 processor. Let's start by reviewing how a sound wave is generated. In 1880, two French scientists, discovered that applying pressure to specific crystals releases an electrical charge. They called it the piezoelectric effect. Subsequently, the converse piezoelectric effect was discovered, whereby applying alternating electrical energy, the crystals oscillate, creating sound waves into the surrounding medium. Here, you have a sound wave that is created. A cycle, is the length for which, it takes to have a positive and negative deflection of the wave. The frequency, is the number of cycles per second, it is measured in megahertz. In diagnostic ultrasounds, crystal are found within the transducers, which come in different shapes, thickness and different frequencies. Those crystals act as generators of ultrasound waves. After the emission of the ultrasound's wave, the transducer listens for returning vibrations, which will deform the crystals, transforming mechanical to electrical energy. The current received during the listening phase, is processed by the unit, and is used to generate what we call, the B-mode images, or grayscale imaging. B for brightness. What you will see on the monitor, on a B-mode, are structures with variable brightness, in better terms, different echogenicity or echo patterns. The echogenicity of the tissue refers to the ability to reflect, or transmit ultrasound waves in the context of surrounding tissues. When using ultrasound, you are going to hear a lot about frequency. What impact does the frequency have on ultrasound images? Sounds waves of a higher frequency, due to their shorter wavelength, are more accurate in discriminating between two adjacent structures, so they pick up more details. In contrast, lower frequency sound waves, due to the longer wavelength, may not discern structures as well. The ability to visualize deeper structures comes at the expense of resolution. Now that we briefly described how an ultrasound machine functions, let's review its different components. The endobronchial ultrasound machine consists of an ultrasound processor, a monitor, a transducer, and a keyboard. Assuming proper installation and connections, turning the machine on, gives access to a source of electricity, which excites the crystal within the transducer and emits sound waves. The ultrasound processor then interprets the electrical signals provided by the transducer, producing ultrasound images on the monitor. If you are planning to save your exam on a USB drive, insert it in the USB port located on the front. Ensure the portable memory access indicator is lit. It is green when the device is ready. It blinks orange when the processor is accessing memory. On the keyboard, the video source should indicate US, for ultrasound. You have the option to display the ultrasound image and the endoscopic image, together on one single monitor by pressing the PIP button. It is important to ensure you have made proper connections on the back of the unit, for you to be able to use this feature. The ID input button, will allow you to create a unique patient's record. The system menu, allows you to set up a display of several features, like, hospital's name, date format, comments and other features. Database, allows you to access old data exams, copy, move or delete them. The timer key, allows you to display a timer on the monitor, while performing the procedure. The DVR remote, allows you to record your exam, using an external digital video recorder. The socket key allows you to switch between the endobronchial ultrasound bronchoscope and the radial ultrasound output. Used mainly by gastroenterologists, the 2D-3D button allows a 3D reconstruction of digestive lesions images. The move data allows you to either move old images from old exams or move same-day saved images to your USB drive. This area displays the keyboard with individual letters, numbers and special characters, as well as keys for specific functions. Let's move now on to the LCD touch panel. Adjusting frequency will optimize the image, based on depth of area of interest. The selected frequency can be confirmed, and seen highlighted in green on the left-hand side of your screen. Do you remember? Lower frequencies penetrate deeper, higher frequencies show better near-field resolution. When the enhance is on, the frequency is highlighted with a green background on your monitor. Enhance is an image optimized button, 
it gets rid of any noise. If you are using the radial e-bus, you can adjust the display area to full circle, top sector or bottom sector. You can also use the image rotation button, or use the trackball to rotate or move the image as desired. Press the IR key again, to rotate the image back to initial angle. Press the DEAR button, to switch the viewing direction of the ultrasound image. When a curvilinear ultrasound endoscope is used, a green dot indicates the proximal end of the endoscope. The green dot, is located in the top right of the ultrasound image for normal, and will move to the top left for inverse. Tissue harmonic echo, appears on the touch panel only on Premiere Plus processor. It is a technology designed to improve conventional grayscale image quality. It improves resolution, signal-to-noise ratio, and reduces artifacts such as reverberation. You can choose between penetration or resolution. This features, is used mainly by gastroenterologists, when trying to stage esophageal cancer, and to assess how far has the tumor grown into the wall. Elastography key appears on the touch panel only on the Premier Plus processor. A new technology, that assess biomechanical characteristic. It displays the relative stiffness within the targeted area, by taking advantages of the deformation caused by the compression or vibrations generated by the heartbeat or vascular pulsations. It has been used in combination with sonographic findings, to predict nodal metastasis. It is growing in popularity in gastroenterology. The image quality can be adjusted, using gain, contrast, enhance, and, STC, which stands for, sensitivity time control. In general, contrast helps distinguish small anatomic structures with similar tissue characteristics. The selected contrast, will be displayed on the left-hand side of your screen. Think of STC, like an equalizer system, it compensates the loss in signal of the sound wave as it travels through tissue. Acoustic power, is usually left to maximum. The gain, is one of the most used scanning parameters. Increasing the gain makes the image appears brighter. The depth, refers to the distance between the image's structure and the transducer. The depth range keys can be used to magnify or shrink ultrasound images. Let's review now the ultrasound modes. There are three modes you can choose from. The B mode, otherwise known as the brightness mode. It displays a two-dimensional grayscale image on the screen. The flow mode, it helps you maneuvering and avoid blood vessels during tissue sampling. And the PW, or pulse wave Doppler mode, it helps you differentiate between artery and vein. Pushing the flow button, will change the touch panel display. You will be able to choose from the three flow modes, locate the region of interest, or ROI, and adjust the sensitivity of the flow signal by using the flow gain buttons. BH flow or high resolution flow mode, is especially useful for imaging and for avoiding small vessels during tissue sampling. You can choose either, the single flow mode display, or the dual display showing both the flow mode and the B mode. Pushing the pulse wave Doppler button, will again change the touch panel menu. Move the PW cursor on the area of interest, using the trackball, then press the PW start button to start the pulse wave Doppler. The machine allows you to freeze, and, unfreeze the images on the monitor to examine fine details. Still images can be stored and transferred by USB ports. After freezing, you can use the Cine Review button or the trackball to review images. It allows the user to go back frame by frame, and press release to print ultrasound images. The Save Record button, saves the image. It can also save movie clip, a feature present only on Premiere Plus processor. The Release button, sends the ultrasound images to the printer. In Observation Mode, GIPB button is used for optimal EUS images. GI, stands for gastrointestinal. PB, stands for pancreas and biliary. And RSB, stands for respiratory and it is used for optimal endobronchial ultrasounds images. You can take measurements and type comments. Press the caliper button, to show the caliper marking, then move the caliper to the starting point with the trackball. Press the set button to anchor the caliper. And move the trackball to the end point. The change page button on top right, will take you to a page where you can choose from preset texts or text that you have customized and saved for use. If you are performing back-to-back -back cases, and you don't turn off the machine, you will be using the previous adjustment values. Exam end button, allows you to go back to the default original setting. In summary, understanding basic eBus instrumentation and knobology, is an important step in performing eBus TBNA. Proceduralists should be familiar with the ultrasound unit and the controls, to optimize image generation for safe and efficient tissue sampling. This conclude our video. 
Thank you for your attention, and please, don't hesitate to leave a comment or suggestion below. Goodbye.